25 years ago, a gigantic monster suddenly appeared in the city of Seoul. Since then, it did not appear again, causing people to believe that it is simply a hoax. Currently, in a different part of the globe, a woman named Gloria is having a hard time dealing with her life due to being unemployed. As such, she always drinks her problems away. Her binge drinking is so severe that her boyfriend, Tim, breaks up with her, asking her to move out of his apartment. With nowhere else to go, she heads back to her hometown. There, Gloria sees the sorry state of her childhood home, but this will have to do for now. The following day, she buys an inflatable mattress because her current house has no furniture whatsoever. While walking home, a car passes her by. The driver of the car, Oscar, recognizes her from their childhood days. Since they know each other, Oscar offers her a ride and asks if they can spend some time together in a nearby bar that he inherited from his father, which Gloria accepts. Afterward, they reach the bar. The bar's exterior and interior have changed from what Gloria can remember, and Oscar tells her that it needed to change because the designs were outdated. Gloria looks around inside the bar. There, she scratches the top of her head, which Oscar notices. It is a nervous tick due to her old stitching there. Later on, Oscar introduces her to his friends Garth and Joel. They then move to the unfinished part of the bar, which still has remnants of the old western-style interior, making Gloria excited because she likes the design. She encourages Oscar to keep the old interior because it looks cool. Afterward, Gloria has a brief talk with Joel, who she seems to be seducing. As the night of drinking goes on, Oscar reveals to Joel that she used to win awards in writing back when they were still in elementary school. Because of this, Joel asks her if she was still writing, and Gloria replies that she used to write articles for some magazines. While checking the internet for these articles, Joel attempts to kiss her, but Gloria immediately flinches away. For this reason, Oscar is angered at him because he thought that Joel is taking advantage of her drunkenness. Although Gloria tells Oscar and Garth that nothing happened, the night is still soured, so they all go home in the morning. With no one to take her home, Gloria carries the box of inflatable mattress all the way to her house. On the way home, she stumbles and walks through a playground. At this point, it is already 8.05 in the morning and she is already exhausted from walking. After getting home, she falls asleep instead of setting up the inflatable mattress first. The following day, Gloria sees news on TV about a monster appearing and destroying parts of Seoul. Of course, she does not believe this at first until she later sees the video footage on the internet. She calls Tim immediately about what happened in Seoul, but Tim just tells her that nine hours have already passed since the news broke out. Because her ex-boyfriend speaks to her in a rather critical tone, Gloria drops the call and heads to the bar. Inside the bar, the townspeople are watching the news about the monster's sudden arrival and disappearance. Due to this threat, the news reports that a global ceasefire has been initiated so that everyone can focus on the monster. Later that evening, she walks back to the playground and falls asleep on the bench nearby. Morning arrives, Gloria calls Tim once again to check on him, but her ex-boyfriend still doesn't want to talk due to her drunkenness. She is angered by his tone and attitude. As a result, she throws the phone away in frustration. A while later, she falls asleep in the middle of setting up the inflatable mattress. Gloria wakes up the sound of the doorbell and finds Oscar on the other side of the door. There, he tells her that he had brought a gigantic television for her to use. While moving it inside the house, Gloria tells him that it is a pleasant surprise. However, according to Oscar, she's the one who specifically wants to have one, hence his delivering. It turns out that due to drinking too much, Gloria sometimes forgets moments in her life. Also, Oscar informs her that the monster has returned again at 8.05 in the morning again, but this time it only made a bunch of weird gestures. Additionally, the monster is found to be the same one that appeared 25 years ago, although they do not know why it disappeared for that long. Since Gloria does not fully remember what happened last night, Oscar reminds her that she is searching for a job and offers her to work at the bar as a waitress. Although it does not pay much, she accepts it and hugs him in appreciation. However, as Gloria is hugging him, she sees in the video played on television 
that the monster is scratching its head in the same way she always does, making her confused. Aside from this, the monster also does some actions that she performed in the previous days. Due to her suspicions that the monster might be some kind of destructive manifestation of her, Gloria tests her theory by going to the playground and doing some specific movements which she can check later. Later on, it turns out that she is correct because the monster has also done those specific movements. This realization has shook her to the core. Gloria talks to Tim via video call where she tells him about her new job as a waitress in the bar and the one who hired her is a childhood friend of hers. While they are talking, Oscar and Joel arrive at her home with a sofa. Again, she cannot remember asking for one, but she is grateful anyway, especially because her mattress broke apart. Afterward, they head to the bar and she has forgotten that she is still in a video call with Tim. During another night of drinking, Gloria decides to confess that she is the monster that is appearing in Seoul. Of course, the guys find this silly, but she insists that she is telling the truth, so they all drive to the playground for her to prove this. There, Gloria performs some weird movements that match with the monster's move from the live stream video which the guys are checking, thereby proving her theory. However, due to the repeated appearance of the monster, the government has decided to strike the monster with rockets which Gloria feels but only barely. Also, because she is drunk, Gloria does not seem to recognize the gravity of what she is doing, so she just keeps messing around. But when she realizes that her movement has caused a helicopter carrying real soldiers to crash on her head, she begins to panic because she does not want to harm any people. At this point, Oscar tries to approach and calm her down, but Gloria suddenly stumbles to the ground and Garth and Joel are both shocked with the devastation caused by her fall they see in the live stream. The following day, she wakes up and sees the news regarding the destruction of some parts of Seoul. She breaks down crying due to what she had done, and Oscar, who has just arrived with some groceries, tries to calm her down by saying that not many people died. When Gloria tells him that she wants to surrender to the police, Oscar changes the subject, telling her that her fall is not the only thing that happened. It turns out that another robotic monster has manifested beside Gloria's monster, and it is clearly Oscar. They discuss this in the nearby diner, with Oscar telling her to stop being paranoid because no one will believe them anyway that they are the monsters. He even teases her by telling this information to some nearby customers, which causes her to be more anxious. Continuing their discussion, they find it weird that they are the only ones that have a monster appearing in Seoul, despite the playground being a public place. Here, Gloria has an idea about how they can at least help with the people of Seoul. The two of them head to a nearby Korean store to donate money for charity. Aside from this, they also ask for the Korean translation of an apology. With this phrase, the two head back to the playground to wait until 8.05 in the morning. While waiting, Oscar admits to Gloria that he has always been following the article she wrote from previous years. He thinks of her as someone from their small town who has gone on to become successful, unlike him who is still working at a bar that he inherited from his father. Oscar also tells her about his story of almost being married six years ago, although it is not meant to be. After talking, Gloria proceeds to the playground. Just in time, the monster also appears in Seoul. But Gloria knows what to do now, so she gestures to the people to leave the area. She then writes the apology in Korean, which became sensational news. Because of this action, the people's view of the monster has shifted into a positive light. Later that night, in another drinking session, Garth points out that the Korean couple from the store whom Oscar and Gloria talk to might deduce that they are the monster due to the phrase, but Oscar just tells her to not worry about it that much. While they are talking, Joel goes to the bathroom and Gloria secretly follows him. She whispers to him, asking about his address so she can visit later. Sure enough, Gloria visits him. Joel goes again for a kiss and Gloria allows it this time. Just like that, they have sex. The following day, she receives news about the appearance of Oscar's monster in Seoul, prompting her to wake Joel up immediately. They then head straight to the playground where they see Oscar and Garth goofing around while drunk. Although they are not destroying the city, there, Oscar sees them together, causing him to be jealous all of a sudden. Despite Gloria's insistence, Oscar does not want to leave the playground and he even insensitively tells Gloria that it was her that killed a lot of people, not him. Hurt by his words, Gloria slaps him on the face and tells him to leave. 
Oscar does not retaliate, although his ego is hurt because he hears some cheering voices from nearby houses who are currently watching the news about the monsters. And so, right before he leaves, he orders Gloria to clean the bar like a strict boss. Afterward, the video of Gloria's monster slapping the other one becomes viral throughout the world as a meme, further hurting Oscar's pride. Oscar is noticeably unhinged by the laughter of the people at the bar. As such, he drinks way more than he usually does. Later that night, he annoyingly repeats the viral meme video of the monster slap to sarcastically point out that it is funny because it is representing him. Then, he becomes nothing more than insufferable to his friends. He starts to accuse Garth of snorting drugs inside the bathroom all the time. Garth has had enough of the hurtful words of his so-called friend prompting him to leave. Oscar also encourages Gloria to drink even though she has stopped drinking some days ago and that she has a destructive tendency when she is drunk. But worst of all, he threatens her that he will walk through the playground if she does not cooperate. Finding this absurd, Gloria refuses to drink alcohol by tossing the bottle aside, not believing that Oscar will really follow through with his threat. Due to her refusal, Oscar heads to his van immediately. He yells at Gloria's face, telling her that his life is now better than her, at least at the moment. Then he drives toward the playground immediately, taking the passive Joey with him, who doesn't even try to stop him. Gloria heads there as well and sees the two men waiting for sunrise. With Gloria arriving, both of their monsters manifest again in soul. She tries to slap and punch him back into sense, but the drunk and vengeful Oscar just violently retaliates, choking her. They finally stop when Joel tells them that the monsters have now disappeared. However, Oscar shoves Gloria back to the ground like a bully, telling her that he will see her at work. She is terrified by this sudden transformation of her childhood friend. Later that day, Gloria gets visited by Joel at her home, who tells her that Oscar is so sorry that he has brought her a lot of furniture. Seeing this, Gloria quickly runs to Oscar's house to confront his strange behavior. He lets her in, where she sees the disheveled state of things inside. There, he admits that he is completely ashamed of his ugly attitude toward her last night and apologizes for it. She accepts the apology on the condition that there will not be another late night drinking anymore. A while later, Gloria goes home and finds all of the furniture has been placed and arranged inside her house. She then receives a call from her ex-boyfriend Tim, who is actually staying in a nearby hotel for a supposed meeting. After going there, Gloria points out that it is highly coincidental that he has a meeting near her hometown. Here, Tim goes into a tirade about her having a job as a waitress in a bar. Hearing this very critical tone from her ex-boyfriend hurts her, so she goes silent for a while before leaving the hotel because her shift is about to start. Tim apologizes for what he has said and offers her a ride, and so they head to the bar. Upon entering, Tim immediately makes fun of the western-style interior not knowing that it is Gloria's idea to keep it that way. He then meets Oscar, and the two men have an argument about Gloria's job, with Oscar believing that she is capable of doing it, while Tim is a little bit dismissive about it. Eventually, Oscar brings out an illegal firecracker which he lights up, burning some parts of the bar. He does this to prove to Tim that Gloria will stay at the bar to help him. Sure enough, she stays instead of leaving with Tim because she feels obligated to help her friend. However, when Gloria gets home later in the evening, she finds Oscar waiting for her inside her own house, which she finds creepy. But even more so upon learning that Oscar is here to make sure that she will not call her ex-boyfriend, which is just a very obsessive and offensive behavior. During their talk, Gloria suddenly has a flashback of their childhood. As it turns out, Oscar was always jealous of Gloria, and one day, he destroyed her diorama of soul. Due to her anger, lightning emerged from the sky and hit them. It struck her right on the top of her head, which explains why she now has stitches there was. Also, it is revealed that their monsters were actually in the shape of the toys they were holding at the time, which was 25 years ago, matching the time of the monster's first appearance. As such, Gloria comes to the conclusion that Oscar hates himself for not achieving much in life and that he is jealous of Gloria for doing the opposite. Because of this, she calls her ex-boyfriend so that they can leave together. However, Oscar is so angry that he has made up his mind to destroy Soul via the playground. Gloria realizes this and quickly stops him by using the various furniture in her house. 
but Oscar is determined to continue his dastardly plan despite being injured. Because of this, both of them run to the playground. There, she tries to stop Oscar by attacking him, but he is much more strong than her. He punches her straight to the gut and head, incapacitating her to the ground. Oscar then blackmails Gloria by telling her that she can go with Tim if she wants to, but he will continue destroying Soul every day if she leaves. Afterward, he proceeds to step all over the playground while Gloria cries helplessly. Later on, she heads home, clearly traumatized by what happened. At first, she wraps herself around the broken, inflatable mattress like a cocoon. But despite this, she pulls herself together and devises a plan where she will head to Seoul instead of going with Tim. She calls her ex-boyfriend to apologize for not meeting with him, although she does not mention where she is going or what is happening to her. Seeing that Gloria has left, Oscar follows through with his plan of destroying Seoul. With everything set, Oscar prepares to step over the playground once again. However, he stops his plan when the ground suddenly shakes as if a giant is stepping in. It is Gloria's monster manifesting at the playground instead. It turns out that having Gloria at Seoul yields the reverse result. Terrified by the sudden arrival of the monster, Oscar attempts to run away, but Gloria catches him via the monster. Oscar screams in terror as Gloria throws him away, sending him and his monster out of sight and mind. With Oscar's monster now gone, the people of Seoul erupt with a joyful celebration. In the news, Joel sees Gloria passing by behind the reporter, quickly concluding that it is her who defeated Oscar. This makes him smile. In the meantime, Gloria walks through the street with a vacant stare. She heads to a nearby bar where she immediately cries her heart out. The lady bartender is confused by her tears and comes to her console, but Gloria just asks her if she would like to hear an amazing story. The lady bartender agrees and offers her a drink, but Gloria just makes a face because she really does not want to drink anymore. I must say, I am quite surprised by how much the movie has managed to subvert my expectations regarding how the plot will unfold. At first, I thought it would be another typical romantic movie that somehow involves monsters, but the movie manages to show how jealousy can destroy a person's sense of pride and ego, but that it still depends on the person how they will handle it. Also, it offers the two different views of responsibility which are represented by the monsters. While Gloria wants to protect other people from her destructive tendencies, Oscar uses it as leverage to feel great. 